This adventure is starting off leaving Alberta, heading to beautiful British Columbia to explore some trails that Fedora's been wanting to explore for a long time. It's nice exploring in Alberta, but for the most part, we have limited trails and places that we can go. Heading to British Columbia offers endless trails, lots of places to explore. Just making a pit stop at the Stony First Nation Esso, where I am meeting up with Fedor, and then we're going to head out, go through Banff National Park, and head west to Radium. Just got some fuel and coffee, but that wind is crazy. So Fedor's heading out and I'm gonna follow behind him. He's got a drive shaft issue, can't go over 100k because it vibrates, so I'm just gonna follow behind. If you've never traveled to Alberta, I highly recommend at least making one trip out to Banff Lake Louise in your lifetime. The views and things to do and see in Banff National Park is pretty amazing. The Views with the mountains, the streams, the waterfalls is pretty epic. And this is on Highway 93, heading southwest now into the beautiful town of Radium. And as soon as we cross the Continental Divide, the weather is starting to settle in. We knew it was going to be cold and rainy, but we decided to go ahead with this trip, anyways. Coming down into the town of Radium offers some pretty unique sights along the road to see. You got rock cliffs, you got tunnels, and then you got this section right here, which is actually pretty cool to drive through. You just don't want to have any rocks fall down on you when you're driving through. And then as soon as you're past all that, past the hot springs, this is the town of Radium. It's pretty awesome, man. You can go snowmobiling in the winter time, lots of places to explore, a hike and camp in the summertime. But before we head out to the bush, Fedora wants to stop off at the local brewery. So we traveled south to Invermere, and I believe the place that we stopped off at was Arrowhead Brewery. So I had to delete all the audio in these clips because of copyright that was being played for music in the background of the brewery. But you get beer, you can get pickled beans, asparagus. It's a, actually a pretty cool place inside just to kind of check out and see. After driving two and a half hours, it was nice to snack on some beef jerky, have a shot of IPA. We just finished stopping off at the brewery right over there, playing a blue building and... Fedora's got to get some stuff, but weather looks like she's going to get ugly tonight. So we shall see what tomorrow will bring, that's for sure. Oh, look at Fedora with his COVID mask on. He's now taking us north. We're just going to go past Edgewater and then head west into the woods where the adventure will begin. Stopped on the side of the road to air down. I'm just gonna head out to the campsite. Beautiful country out this way. All right. Drive out to where we're camping.
I have personally never been out this way before, but after driving out, I'm going to tell you right now, you better have some sort of GPS or a paper map or something because there's trails that keep branching off and I guarantee you, it's very easy to get turned around out here in the bush. And I don't know how many people do every single year, but I can see it happening quite easily. And there's some amazing views. Definitely carry a chainsaw because there has been sections where trees had fallen down across the road. And if you didn't have a chainsaw, well, you might be in a little world of hurt. trying to find a decent place to camp now there's lots of places but when you come out this way you're trying to find the spot this was actually the old road and then they put a new one down there i mean there's you must keep an eye on the rocks too i don't know if there's any Gold claims out this area, or whatever have you not. Fan is loud. Yeah. Looks like somebody was up here cutting some firewood. So at this point we're heading back down, the road ended, we're trying to find a campsite for the night, but, uh, see what we can get ourselves into. even a switch back but so what's nice about Jeeps you can turn it around pretty easy so going through an area right now that uh, it's looking promising that uh, Probably find a place to camp pretty darn quick. Looks like there was some core samples. So maybe. No, they're just empty crates. Yeah. That's so wasteful. Someone just disposing of their shit. Got excited there. Well, we're gonna head down the trail 10 more minutes, and if not, we're gonna come back here and set up camp because it's already getting late. I mean, it's not a it's not a horrible spot to camp here. Five more minutes, and we're getting out of here. So right now we're kind of at a crossroads, it's starting to rain. We've been going down this road for 15 kilometers and there's nothing even remote for a campsite except where those core samples were but it wasn't even like a good place to camp but there was a lake back like backtrack quite a bit so 
we're probably just gonna turn around and go back there but Fedora's just checking the GPS right now and having a look actually, uh, pretty close. So I'm backing down. Fedora's gonna check out this other trail. I'm gonna go check out this one. Cause we need to set up camp. Yeah, I'm just following this trail, it just keeps going a ways. Oh yeah, man, there's some snow up there. Is there? Okay, I just followed this around. It's all pretty open. I mean, a person could set up camp here, but there really isn't any trees for tarpon, per se. Okay, it looks like I'm just cresting the hill where there's a couple of benches on the side of the road. Branch going up, keep left, gotcha. This must be where he means, keep left. came down to this spot this is a nice view that's just a dead end there and then the road goes up but this guy's breaking fire pit all right by the creek looking good I think there might have been a bridge here once. Those straps worked actually really good to keep my stuff from going against the window in the rear.
looking good way nicer setup beautiful spot Fedora's getting a fire going we're gonna have to gather some wood later It is getting pretty dark. Camp is set up. You know what I fucking forgot? What? My camping chair. Really? Yeah. Well, there's a crappy tire in town. No. I'll live without for the weekend. Sucks. Before it gets too dark, motherfucking beer time. Oh, I was expecting it to fizz over. Gotta get your beer. Mine. Here's to holding out and not giving up on finding a camp spot. That's right. Came to the end of the road and Fedora led us to this beautiful campsite. This is better than what I had envisioned. Camping right by the river. We got a fire. Trying my tent out for real. This is gonna be good. A little budget cooler sure holding out too for right around on the trails. You got the same one. Do you like it? Sure did. It's all right. All right, everybody. Cheers. <sighs> she's only 8 o'clock, but she's getting dark fast. It's been raining. Definitely gonna be a good night to break in the tent. Just trying to get the fire going. I think she's gonna be lit. It's laying on my cot. It's waiting for the fire to get going. Slowly, I'm not gonna feed it like I did last time, so it's like extremely hot inside here then. Ah, she's nice and toasty. Got that screen door open. Plus that one right there. I think I should sleep well.